I'm still not getting the exact same vibe of the Xbox controller. Howdy ho everybody, what's up, it's JD, welcome back to a new video. You know, um, I wanted to go through and talk about this new PlayStation 5 DualSense controller that just got it announced because it seems uh, pretty sexy. And I think the main question everybody's thinking is what is the PlayStation 5 gonna look like? Oh my goodness. All right, so with that being said, let's pull up this thing and I'm gonna read through all of the blog so you don't have to. All right, here we go. All right, so here we are on the uh, PlayStation blog, and this came out yesterday, introducing the DualSense, new wireless game controller for the PS5. Oh man, all right, so we've got, we've got photo, we got photo images, these, these are them. See the first images of DualSense, which will bring the sense of touch to the PlayStation 5's gameplay. Ooh wee, that sounds, uh, I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like pretty cool. Uh, like I've heard that what they're trying to say is you're going to have a lot more like like true sense of touch when it comes to certain games in the future, which, hey, man, that sounds cool to me. All right. So how about we jump into looking at the photos first? Where? where oh, or maybe these are them on the page. OK, never mind. Oh, we can open that image in a new tab. Ah, ooh. OK. <laughs> All right. So let's read what they have to say. Uh, this is from uh, Hideki Nishino, um, Senior Vice President, Platform Planning and Management, and they say, <clears throat> as we try to zoom in a bit, uh, we have reached an exciting milestone with PlayStation 5 as we're starting to ship our new controller in its final design to excuse me, developers who are implementing its unique features into their games. But first, we want it, we want everyone in the uh, excuse me, we want everyone in the PlayStation community to get a first look at the DualSense wireless controller and hear our vision of how the new controller will captivate more of your senses as you interact with the virtual worlds in PS5 games. Okay. Uh, the features of DualSense along with the PS5's Tempest 3D audio tech will deliver a new feeling of immersion to players. When PS4 launched in 2013, wow, 2013, it's been seven years? <laughs> seven years, fam? All right, when PS4 launched in 2013, the DualShock 4 wireless control garnered a lot of positive feedback from gamers and developed for, uh, excuse me, and developers for being the best PlayStation controller yet. And for introducing forward looking features like the share button. This brought us to the next question. How do we build up on that success? All right, so we got a picture right here. Man, this thing is uh, spicy, spicy. I like the way it looks. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I think the one thing that's really getting to me is the color scheme, but let, 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 let's finish the article and then we'll talk more about it. All right, so <clears throat> after thoughtful consideration, we decided to keep much of what gamers love about the DualShock 4 intact, while also adding new functionality and refining the design. Based on our discussions the developers with developers, we concluded that the sense of touch within gameplay, much like audio, hasn't been a big focus for games, many games. We had a great opportunity with PS5 to innovate by offering game creators the ability to explore how they can heighten that feeling of immersion through our controller, our new controller. This is why we adopted haptic feedback, which, which adds a variety of powerful sensations you'll feel when you play, such as the slow grittiness of driving a car through mud, Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, we also incorporated adaptive triggers into the L2 and R2 buttons of DualSense, so you can very, tr so, excuse me, so you can truly feel the tension of your actions, like when drawing a bow to shoot an arrow. Okay, so like if you're hitting down on the left and right trigger, like you're playing, uh, I don't know, the God of War, if they when they make the sequel, when you like hold down on R, it's gonna be like really intense when you go. Like I'm, I'm assuming that's the type of that. I, I'm, I'm, that's the type of immersion I'm thinking is going to happen. So this provided us with an exciting challenge to design a new controller that builds off of the current genera uh, current generation, while taking into account the new features uh, we are adding. For example, the adaptive triggers. We had to consider how the components would fit into the hardware without giving into excuse me giving it a bulky feeling. Our new design team worked closely with our hardware engineers to place the triggers and 
uh, actuators, excuse me, uh, the designers were then able to draw the lines of how the exterior of the controller would look and feel with a challenge of making the controller feel smaller than it really looks. In the end, we changed the angle of the hand triggers and also made some subtle updates to the grip. We also took thoughtful consideration into ways to maintain a strong battery life for DualSense's rechargeable battery and to lessen the weight of the controller as much as possible as new features were added. Okay, speaking of battery, you know that this is being charged through through USB-C finally. Uh-oh, Xbox. What's going to happen? You still got batteries in the back of those? I hope they don't have batteries in the back of those things, man. I'm so tired of that. All right, so for the buttons, uh, you'll notice there is no longer a share button as we had the dual shock four uh, as we had with the dual shock four don't worry it's not going away in fact we've built upon its success we built upon the success of our industry first share button to bring you a new create button feature with create we're once again pioneering new ways for players to create epic gameplay content to share with the world or just enjoy themselves we'll have more details on this feature as we get closer to launch that is crazy that's crazy. That means people like us, people like me, have changed the way video games are perceived nowadays because now you have content creators, you have people who are making videos about video games who are getting them out there into the world, which is free publicity for the for the company, free marketing, and they're like, hmm, we shall capitalize on this and make it easier to share our gameplay. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's basically what they're doing. Um, all right, so DualSense also adds a built-in microphone array, which can, excuse me, which will enable players to easily chat with friends without a headset. Ideal for jumping into a quick conversation, but of course, if you're planning to chat for a long period, it's good to have that headset handy. You know what would be really smart? Would be if someone had partnered with Discord by now, like Xbox, oh my God, Nintendo, even though I don't think enough games need, uh, like we don't need to talk, on, talk to each other in, in Nintendo games, but, I mean, or create their own version of Discord, you know, but partnering with them. I don't think Discord would sell themselves right now, but partnering with a company to create like the most seamless audio experience for online gameplay. Because I never use whenever I play video games, I never use Xbox Live anymore. Uh, Xbox Live talking to people. I don't play Xbox that often anyway. No disrespect. I just play Halo and I'm waiting for the next one. Um, or PlayStation Online. I hardly, me and my friends ever, we never meet up on there. Everybody meets up in Discord. Discord's easy. It's a free app. It's on your phone. You can talk. The, the clarity is beautiful. I mean, somebody has, to, somebody has to get in on that. Oh, we got way more. To, not a lot more, but a few more things to read. All right, now. Ooh, this is what I'm interested in. Let's talk about the colors. Traditionally, our base controllers have a single color. As you can see, we went in a different direction this time around and decided to go two tone with a two tone. Blah, blah, decided on a two toned design. Additionally, we changed the position of the light bar that will give it an extra pop on DualShock 4. Excuse me, I'm reading too fast. There's a period. Extra pop. Period. <laughs> now on DualShock on DualShock 4, it sat on the top of the at top of the controller, now it sits at each side of the touchpad, giving it a slightly larger look and feel. In all, we went through several concepts and hundreds of mock-ups. Mock-ups, 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 mock Okay. Uh, hundreds of mock-ups over the last few years before we settle on this final design. F for, wait, wait, for last few years? How long have y'all been developing this thing? Too long. All right, so DualSense has been tested by a wide range of gamers with a variety of hand sizes, okay, in order for us to achieve the comfort level we wanted. With great ergonomics uh, comes great responsibility. All right, now our goal with DualSense is to give gamers the feeling of being transported into the game world as soon as they open the box. We want all gamers or we want gamers to feel like the controller is an extension of themselves when they are playing. So, so much so that they forget that it's even in their hands. Okay, that's a good selling point. I like that. I like the way that sounded. That sounded really, that was a really good pitch right there. Uh, we are thrilled about sharing the final look uh, of the DualSense controller with our fans, and we can't wait for everyone to get their hands on it. I'd like to close this message from, wait, close with a message from SIE president uh, or senior something executive president and CEO Jim Ryan to the community. DualSense, this is Jim Ryan. Um, DualSense marks a radical departure from our previous controller offerings and captures just how strongly we feel about making a generational right leap uh, with PS5. The new controller 
along with the many innovative features in PS5 will be will be transformative for games. Continuing our mission at PlayStation to push the boundaries of play now and in the future. To the PlayStation community, I truly want to thank you for sharing your exciting journey with us as we all head towards PS5's launch in the holiday of 2020. We look forward to sharing more information about PS5, including the console design in the coming months. Jim Ryan, president and CEO of Sony Interactive. Man, that's um, that's a hot tamale right there. That's a hot tamale. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a hot tamale. Okay, so... Now the question is, what are what are our th our thoughts? Personally, I like it. It's it. I mean, the question to me is like, what is the PlayStation Five gonna look like? Is it gonna be two toned? Is it gonna be, I, like? I think the thing that that throwing me off is the fact that they're kind of like really pulling away from what I originally think is like the PlayStation color scheme, which is like black or dark gray. Or I mean, if you think about the original PlayStation, it was it was gray. And then they made a PS1 uh, remake that was white. Might just be going back to that. PlayStation 2, all black. PlayStation 3, all black. They gave different colorways as they, as you know as time went on. PlayStation 4, all black, um, and different colorways and different like you know custom versions of each one. Huh. Okay. I like this. So is this touchpad like a? Is this a? I mean, I, I, I was reading, but I wasn't sure if I got, if I understood. What is this? A, is, so is the middle like a new sensor, like the touch? Where's my PlayStation controller? Hold on. Is the middle like a new sensor or is that just like uh, a static? I assume it's the same. Cause like, here's my, my Spider-Man one. And yeah, that's gotta be the same thing. I mean, I'm not sure what they're gonna use it for, but they're probably gonna use it. And then yeah, share is on the left, options is on the right still. The triggers on this thing. Do they? I'm like looking. I'm looking at my control. I'm like looking at my controller and show. Like I'm trying to see the side of it. Like look. Like just like that. Hold on. Back it up. Just like that. Okay. Oh, it's it's uh. It's interesting. It's it's a leap. It's I like it. I like the two tone. I see the. I see the PlayStation logo. They still have the area where you plug in your mic. I don't know what this little button is down here though. Or maybe that's like a light bar that tells you if you're getting like audio through or something. Those triggers on the back, they look, they look pretty big actually compared to the ones that I got on my controller. Like that does not look the same. They look a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. And also you got that, uh, no more light bar, no more light bar for, isn't that what they use for VR or wasn't that for the, uh, the, the like kind of like the touch control things that they have the one with the little ball balls on the thing i don't know i like it though i mean it's clean it's clean and it makes me think like dang it's gonna be a, a sexy little playstation all white just kind of like you know decked out looking 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 feisty but yeah you got that blue backlighting on the touchpad i assume this is a touchpad if i'm wrong let me know in the comments um you got our our classic shapes right here a triangle square circle well x is not a shape but still um the d-pad looks nice it looks similar it looks like oh that's kind of funny look they took well they took well i mean honestly it looks kind of like a like an xbox controller it looks less playstation way more xbox and um uh i was gonna say you see that they have the arrows are indicated on the uh the d-pad specifically that oh sorry right over here they're not right above like if you see on this the arrows are right above, like up, down, left, and right. You got the joysticks in the right, in the same spot. Yeah, they've always had their joysticks down here, huh? That's interesting, cause like compared to the Switch and the Xbox uh, controller, they have their joysticks in different places. Ooh, I don't know though. I mean, like the the PlayStation's got a little bit more of a curve. Like this kind of looks like a batarang in a way, but. It's kind of, it, nah, I wouldn't say it's too similar. The handles at the bottom are definitely kind of a bit of an homage, but I'm still not getting the exact same vibe of the PlayStation, the Xbox controller. I'm getting like kind of like ergonomically, like the way it looks like a similar representation, but nah, to me, it still looks unique to PlayStation. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. This is, I mean, regardless of all that, it's still just like really cool. Um... 
I think it's going to be cool because they're talking about how, like, your control. I think they, they're trying to say that people lack on the controller, which is interesting. They're saying, like, the controller is lacking a lot of immersion. And maybe that's why people are, like, trying to push VR, trying to get you to really get immersed into the game. But it looks like they're trying to bring you back. You know, I'm, I'm assuming that, like, the rumble and the and the, the pull and the tug of this controller is going to feel, it's going to feel like a, kind of like when you get in a car and you got a steering wheel in front of you. You got a nice, like, tight, new, gripped steering wheel, you know? You can feel the leather, feel the leather on that bad boy. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I think those are my thoughts on it. I personally love the way it looks. I, I, my question is, what does the PlayStation look like? What is it going to look like? And are they going to ship it this, this fall? Are they, how are they manufacturing with all the stuff going on right now? Who knows? But hey, let me know what you all think. All right. Drop some, uh, drop some comments, drop some gems over there in the chat. And I think that'll be the end of my video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like button, share, link's description below, subscribe. You can check out those videos over there. Yeah, there they are, over there. Check out those other videos. And uh, hey, I'm streaming on Twitch uh, very consistently. It would be great if you all swung by and actually hung out with your boy. Because, uh, yeah, you know, live streaming's fun. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for coming through. I'll see you on the next one. Hmm, PlayStation 5. Hmm.